I have only played Audio Surf a little bit. So this is a new experience for me. Someone recommended that I should do Audio Surf to my music. And I thought, you know what? That's a great idea to kill two birds with one stone. And um, let's give it a shot. Now, again, if you're not listen, if you're not looking to listen to the music that I made uh, with Mike and Joe in the studio, then you don't. That's cool. You know, like I said, this is Imakuni and Dyer are streaming. Like, you know, I think there's a a Japanese story game happening on Imakuni's channel, and then Dyer's playing Bloodborne. Um, but you know, for me, this is a way to make no mistake about it: full narcissism, full promotion mode. Um, and I was going to do something for full sauce. So this is it. And, uh, I really feel like this would be a great way to watch me fail at my own songs. And if you haven't heard the music yet, this is uh, a great way to hear it. It's not that bad. You know, I don't, I don't think like if you're, Oh, great. He's, <laughs> he's a streamer. He makes music. If you're expecting like bottom of the barrel shit, it's not that bad. You're not going to like cringe to it, but I mean, that's for you to determine. Really? That's just my opinion. Um, so there's different game modes. I think I could probably do one mode per, um, puzzle league modes. I, I, I'll just try one, one style per song and, uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes, you know? So yeah, let's give it a shot. This is a brand new thing for me. And this is the album that we finished in the studio called what could go wrong and uh we're really proud of it we're really proud of it so let's check it out in in video game form okay hang on <laughs> a little bit loud that uh, i can't believe it or not I don't particularly like hearing my own voice all that much, so I'm going to be wincing a little bit here and there, but, um... Now listen to him, he loves himself! Got a new woman Found her in an old bar <laughs> Got me a woman, oh, this is a baby cheeky song. So go back to my car Am I getting the right things? Can someone explain how the fuck I'm supposed to play this? What do I have to get? Goes when the day is, the day is done. Do I avoid the black ones and just get the red ones? Got another woman. I think that's what I have to do. Well, the song sounds pretty good in audio surf. <laughs> like I'm really admiring the mix. I don't really sing like this for any other song, but uh, it's like that new wave voice, like the Cars, Devo, Talking Heads, mixed with a little bit of Nirvana. That's me singing. Yeah, that is me. I, I sang the whole album because um, that's what I do. Someone in chat just said, I'm a guy. I want to fuck the hell out of that throat. I guess that's the best compliment I've received yet. So, yeah, I'll take it. Thanks. Uh, it's pretty good. 
right, up next is Atom Bomb. I'm just going to be... This is me just failing at all the audio surf game modes. Competitive monocolor mode. Get power blocks inside corkscrew loops. You know what else has a corkscrew? Um, ducks. So this is Atom Bomb. And this is in the order of the songs on the album. And this is pretty cool. I'm actually really... I'm enjoying this in a weird, fucked up way. Do I, do I collect the electricity? Fucking, this song is hard to sing. Other people have played this. That that's this song. No shit. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's this mode specifically. Okay, well, that's that's uh, interesting. That yeah. So that's um. Those are the the singles that that we released. Anyway, um. By the way, those who ordered the CD, it should probably start arriving tomorrow, Saturday. I think. Uh, all that shipped the bundles with the shirts and the posters they shipped out today. So, um, what else do we have here? Ninja hit color blocks, dodge all spikes for a stealth bonus, collect color blocks inside corkscrews. You know, those fucking corkscrews. Um, mystical, let's try that. No one has played this song yet. And combination, I'm the first, I'm a fucking pioneer. This song is compressed to hell, which I, some people are not a fan of. But Joe, that was his idea. He wanted to do it like that. You know, it's a, he called it stylistic. Stylistically bold. But, you know, we could try to diminish the effects of it. Uh, no, I never took any singing lessons, which you could probably tell. But... Um... <laughs> I did it a lot out of necessity. 
necessity. Every time I close my eyes, I can see all the things I point to me. Take a piece, there's not much left. Yeah, what is this ninja bonus? See. I'm not seeing any of this. We it's a cool looking map though. Very Zeppelin inspired riff. Billy on the roads, killing it. I fucking love the roads. And organ later. Unsure about what for the album, honestly. Wasn't sure if people were gonna like this one. It's very cotton dry, very classic rock. This doesn't even, this level doesn't even seem to be going with the music. Might be the compression fault. Oh my god, spikes! Well, why are you so many spikes? It's because I'm fucking loud right now in the song, isn't it? Holy shit. Is that a good thing? Yeah, I guess it was. It's, yeah, it's my own fault. It's fucking Christ. That level sucked for me. Um, hey, I got the high score. I got the world record, everyone. Um, okay, telepo telepone is also a little compressed, so I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to get spiked. Jump from wave tops in the music. Okay, that one seems pretty fucking different. Um, uh, what are we doing? Let's do Neon this time. I like Telephone. It's a fun little short song. It's just, it's hard to sing this one live because I can't cut through vocally because the power in the voice is not there at this range. But that's a long story. Sounds good instrumentally, though. I'm so confused, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh shit, that's awesome. Remember that funny feeling you could live without. Yeah, surf. And you couldn't see the vision. Yeah, give me a seizure, yeah. Audacious, we just got punk 10. I wanted to leave 
clips of me going like, yeah, baby, in the middle here, but I'm not an asshole, so we cut it. And also another one, rock me, Joe. Except I did the solo, so it wouldn't have worked. God, I can't, I don't even know what I was looking at half of the time. Also, um, Mike did a great job on that one. I was listening to the drums a lot and, uh, it was good. He, the, uh, Carl, Carl, I, I'm sorry. We left that in two button, quick reflex game for up to four players. Great with game pads. All right. Maybe we can do a little bit. Oh, sunset. That sounds interesting. That's a different one. You know what? That wouldn't work for this, because this is a dark song. Hang on. Let me try something a little dark, like hollow. Yeah, that, that'll work. How far am I willing to go with my music experimentally? Um, for, Far, but, you know, first album, you don't want to... I didn't want to jump in too deep. Also, we started recording... We've done two sessions on a song that's uh, sounding really fucking good, and we're going to be experimenting a lot with it. Why is there... Wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Hang on a sec. Jump over. A button or up arrow. B button. Or down arrow. Up arrow, down arrow. Hold both buttons to go through crazy. Okay, this is cool. Oh, this is great. I like this one a lot.
I'd say. Joe does it live. He does something much better. Oh my god, this game. This is the best one so far, but it's still really it's hard, man. That was good though. That was a that was a cool mini game. I like that. Um. Hey, I got. Oh, wow. Okay. What? Who the fuck? Thirty three points away from a million. Oh, come on. I want, I want a million. It's a nice easy easy number. It's even. It's it's big. Like my chram. Well, I don't like watching the stream because all Vinny does these days is play his music and talk about his music. There's no video games anymore. There's none. I've decided that I am going to leave, but I'll be back tomorrow so I can watch and complain more. My cock is so big. Whoa. Imagine watching this on full side. This is my promotion for my music. Me doing that. Collect four color clusters at an easy pace. Separate leaderboards from the other puzzles. Color clustered goals to make big color clusters with three or more blocks of the same color touching. Color. Three or more of the same block touching. Move out of traffic whenever you want. Collect multipliers inside corkscrews. All right. Oh, this is good. This is good visual for, for this song, I'd say. puzzle get made. This was, by the way. 
the um, craziness. I was definitely not in the frame of mind to remember this kind of instrument. But it's definitely one of those fuckery things where you just mess around until you get something you like. puzzles yeah that one was good that was my probably my i don't know second favorite i really like that one not musically i'm talking about the um the okay i'm talking about the um the level complete puzzle league with other modes vegas left left click to push left complete puzzle league with other modes also this is puzzle league modes mods co-op puzzles collect the colors Try something a little different. Oh, I missed back to school, didn't I? Oh, shit. Wow. I don't know how I skipped it. All right. Um, after Hazy, I'll do it. So we're going out of track order. That was an accident. Uh, back to school was track four. I don't know how I missed it. The, probably the most intense live. So just a car collecting colors. There's not really a whole lot going on in this one, is there? Fucking trippy though, visually. So I got another concept. I like the oncoming traffic. by the way it was an accident that it even happened it's totally worth it though so this one's just get everything and don't miss anything all right
felt like I just had a fucking transcendent experience. On this red road at night. Holy shit. Um, that was actually the first... This this is the first time I've been like confident in my vocals outside of rasp because I, I put on like a rasp voice five six years ago and almost every song had it because I wasn't sure if I could do anything without it. But that song I was I was actually worried about. I thought I didn't do great vocally. Not yet. Now we have to do um. What? Hang on. We're not ready for that one yet. Um, I don't know why I can't just pull up the album again. Okay, game crashed. That's cool. Yeah, we're not doing funk yet, but... Would it be weird if you could put your own songs in Rocksmith? I would probably fuck them up in Rocksmith. Um, if you do buy the album anywhere, there, I would recommend Bandcamp. Honestly, someone just said they bought it in iTunes. Thank you. To buy it in Bandcamp. It's cheaper there. You're going to get better quality. There's a bit of like, a, a, there's a few audio errors that have to get sorted on Spotify and iTunes and Amazon that aren't going to happen for a little while. So yeah, I don't know how I missed back to school. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to do this one and, uh, mono. Get power blocks inside corkscrew loops. Um, double vision. Let's do mono. That we did that one already, but I'm gonna do that one on classic. That was what I was recommended. It looks like uh, some other people have a score here. Let me see if I can beat their high score. Collect and dodge. Match. Power blocks. Okay. See, that's simple enough. I only ever played a little bit of Audio Surf 1. This is brand new to me. I wake up on my own, but I don't want to go. A million things to do. It, like, it gets jerky because it slows down in between the guitar notes. sure people like this one when it first was released because I thought it was too like classic rock like the Who Fighters I was a little disappointed that people didn't love it as much as I did honestly I was so high on this song when we first recorded it I was and then it got kind of a lukewarm reception but honestly now I love it again so much I know it has its fans, and I'm one of them. I'll meet you after lunch. Throw me to the curb. Nothing hurts like words. You said you had my back. So fun to play live. Conception time. I didn't do the guitar solo in this song. I can't do guitar solos like this. <laughs> this is Joe. He's amazing. He played it on his Telecaster. Fucker, what can I 
say. how to process this song. Yeah. Uh, I didn't beat the... Well, I'm second. At least I beat the fucking Goomba from Super Mario Brothers movie. Thank God for that. Uh, cool. That was good. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I'm, I'm sad that I missed that one. Um, Job in the City. Oh, this is, this is probably my favorite. Even though I kind of hate the way I sound on it. I, I mentioned this the other day. It's, it's a little too David Byrne for my liking. I, I really, um, I was <laughs> mentioning the other day how I had a big cup of coffee and then I asked Mike to go get me whiskey. So I was a little drunk when I sang this song which I think it needed, but at the same time, when I listen to it, I'm like, it's a little flat here and there, and also I sound like David Byrne. Um, let's see, Vegas. Point Man. I'm going to do the, the pusher one. This game, though, music aside, this game is awesome. I fucking love this game. It's hypnotic. It really is. I can see why people like this one so much. It really just kind of like draws you into it.
Yeah. That's the job in the city song. You're selling urine. Yeah, so that that one's good. That this that game mode was insane. That really really was. Um she missed the beat is the weird one of the album. That's the one that a lot of people I just didn't expect people to really relate to it or or like care or get it, but uh, I I like it. It's one of those ones that came out of a dream and like totally just overridden by my subconscious. There wasn't a whole lot like the, the initial idea. And then when we got into the studio, we worked on it and it became something a little weirder and a little different, a little shorter. But anyway, we a kaleidoscope of your favorite skin. Jump from hilltops. To the music do tricks in the air. Be careful not to crash land. Okay, this is a short enough one that we could probably do that. So I'm um, going to go for... Um, let's do this one. I like all the different skins. So, oh God, it's like 4.07. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, we're going a little late tonight. We're almost done. The album's almost over. Stream's almost over. Um, how to jump, hold, click, and move all the way across. Not much left. Yeah, go for a killer vacay. UFO noises were a good idea. <laughs> almost left that one off the album in exchange for generic good rock song and uh we decided not to play it safe for that and we just uh we yeah we went all in and we were like let's make this the weirdest fucking one if people don't like it because it makes no sense then great but yeah that one was that was an intentionally weird song made weirder um hit color blocks dodge spikes for stealth bonus click power blocks inside cork so we'll do ninja again um, Ghost Page is next. This one, still a little self-conscious about this one, but I, I really like it. It's just, uh, it's one of those ones that you, it's like, you know, you're really close to. It's a lot of just me, my guitar, and my voice, you know, there's not a whole lot of, until the end, there's not a whole lot of anyone else, which is why I feel that way. Anyway, we're going to do this going to do this and before I get fucking copyright claimed for my own music listen to the sound effect what the song it's going to the tambourine 
it sounds amazing. song to start. Not as much gameplay as the other songs so far. So what you're about to hear is me singing, kind of distant, mixed with a really weird tone I got in my synthesizer, that green one I bought. I don't even know how to recreate it. on this song. amazing shit on the bass throughout this whole album. Really tasteful, really, really perfect for the song. And yes, rest in peace, Mike. Mike died playing the end of that song on the drums. We, we, we remember him by celebrating his music and his contributions to this album, but hats off to you, Mike, wherever you may lie. The drums killed him. He lived his life by the drums. He died by the drums. Um, let's see. What were we in wakeboard? What is this? Uh, I'll do the... Maybe I'll do audio sprint on the one after this. I kind of want to do... Some other modes. Race puzzle colors. Let's try Vegas. Like Dusk. Dusk is like one of my favorites, I think. But you know what? 
I think for something like this, we want something a little bit brighter. So yeah, two more songs. No, he's not dead. I'm kidding. <laughs> he died doing what he loved best, dying. started understanding how to play this like towards the end it, it's kind of a weird puzzle one i'm not sure if i liked it that much um vague it was cool i could see me getting into i need to learn how to do it but it wasn't yeah it wasn't really making a whole lot of sense to me until then anyway um yeah i dodge because you gotta match the colors and if you mismatch the colors in that particular mode then you don't get the points so um i had to yeah i had to do the thing but I don't I don't know if I really like that one um, as much as I like some of the other ones. We're gonna do I'm gonna close it with this one, and uh, this is in a dream. So we'll do something kind of spacey. That'll be cool. Um, this is the last song on the album. Yeah, that fuzz pedal was a great investment. <laughs> that and the fucking pitch um, pitchfork it's called. Really useful pedals. Jump. Okay, I know how to do this.
I, yeah, Tro- Trolls and Goblins isn't part of the album. Yeah, this was one of those songs that came out of nowhere from a dream. Joe's insistence on using an acoustic guitar in this was perfect. Twenty seconds of silence in it. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, we left a lot of little mistakes in because we're not robots. And uh, yeah, every now and then, you know, a, a human is flat or plays a wrong note. It's like you you fix them so that the song sounds right, and you nudge like a little bit of a mistake here and there. But uh, mostly, we didn't want to make like a fucking robot electronic record we just made you know what we what we could make as as people it's flawed but i'm I'm really proud of it i think mike is too and so is joe Whoever asked last night, Vinny, what's that thing at the end of your album? I don't, I don't know. The runner 
it looks like it needs to shit really badly. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Well, like I said, you know, we've already started. We're, we're working our way through a song that I think might be better than any of the songs on this album, which is probably just me saying that because I've listened to this album for the past year so many times. Oh God, someone played it. I beat them. Oh my God, look at that. I beat them by fucking like... <laughs> How many points is that? Four? That's amazing. All right, fine. We'll do Trolls and Goblins. I'm going to do something more simple for Trolls and Goblins. Um, we're going to do Dusk, Casual, and, uh, you know, we'll do Mono. That's fine. And Dusk. It's green, so we're going to have some fun with green color. This is like the unofficial ad addition to the album. So it's not really meant to be on it. That's why we didn't sequence it with the rest of the songs, but people like it, so I like it too. In fact, I think this is one of Joe's best production-wise. Like, he, he says he agrees. In terms of, like, the way he produced it, everything is clear. Everything really just fucking works. So, yeah, I'm a big fan. cool things about this song is also as you're right that is creepy as fuck <laughs> i agree um one of the things about this song is some people were like it, it's good i wish it was longer but that's the whole story i mean that's how it was written 10 years ago and i mean we could have extended the solo a bit i guess i considered it too we but it just came across as just us fiddling and noodling on the guitar that's one concise statement of trolls and goblins and i feel like any more than that and it would have diminished uh the effect of it so you know it's a few minutes just two minutes but it i think it it's better that way and uh live it's a little different actually it's very different live we don't play it very much like that we play it i mean the same melody yes but it's it's really it's really different um and more, a little bit more theatrical, I'd say. But that's for another time. Anyway, listen, um, thank you guys so much for tolerating this and, um, you know, or for giving me a chance at least. Just, um, I, I know some people were like, <laughs> some of the comments were like, I was afraid it was going to suck, so I didn't listen. Or I was afraid that it was going to be cringy because, you know, streamers making music or whatever. And I understand I don't often listen to a lot of things that people put out if they're known for one other thing specifically. So I'm totally on board, but thank you for, you know, at least giving it a shot. And, you know, if you like something on there, great. It's, um, 
tomorrow it'll be on YouTube. And then uh, it's already on Bandcamp and Spotify streaming for free. Um, if you want to download it, there's, you know, it's like really cheap on Bandcamp right now. It's only four bucks. But I mean, even if you, you're unable to do that and you and someone sends you the download, I don't mind. It's fine. Um, just happy that people are listening. And, you know, please, all I would ask is over the five and a half years I've been streaming, you guys gave me the opportunity to do this. And um, that's why I'm really, you know, excited about this thing, because I finally got a chance to, you know, follow something that I, I love to do. So I'm really happy I got a chance to do it. And it's because of Vine Sauce that I was able to do it, which is why I'm so excited to share it. And I know it's a little annoying. I know it is for some people, but, you know, you're not going to get much more of it. There's not going to be a sequel where I stream the album on Audio Surf 1 or something else. It's not going to happen. You know, you got this one. Um, you'll hear me talk a little bit about it every now and then, but it's it's not going to overtake what I do here because that's that wouldn't be fair to anyone else. And I love what I do. So music is just an added bonus. Um, I was going to say, Audio Surf 2 was actually a lot of fun and I, I enjoyed it and hope you did too. It was a little hard to look at at times, but definitely hypnotic and, and challenging and a lot of fun. I'm going to show you guys the art and then I'm going to go because it's fucking like 4.30 a.m. And this got, I badly mismanaged the amount of time that it would take to, to do that music. So, whoops. Um, 